Yo guys, Professor Mad Hat Gaming here. Today we are back with another SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom video. Today we are going to go to not this place because we don't have the the things. We don't have the golden spatulas. All right, uh, we've already completed Jellyfish Fields. Uh, can I? So oh, wait, that? Yes. All right, never mind. Change of plans. We're not going to Bikini Bottom downtown, and today we are going to go to the fair because I have no money to go to an actual amusement park because my family is poor. I'm just kidding. We're, we're, we're not poor. I'm not poor. Alright, take us, you phantom bus. Goo Lagoon. What? I wanted to go to the fair, not Hippie Beach. No. That would, that would actually be funny if, like, for a Spongebob anniversary or something, like, one of his anniversary, like Spongebob's like anniversary, he's like, oh Spongebob's 40th anniversary, or, I'm just kidding, it would not go on for 40 years, but if like, like the Spongebob thing, uh, for like a special or something, they actually like take a beach, like, I don't know, like somewhere out in California, or like, uh, so, like wherever Spongebob was Spongebob. made, and just, uh, yeah, and just uh, like, rename a beach Goo Lagoon, and like, have a, just be like uh, the fair and stuff, that would be awesome. Alright, what it, can I? How dare you? I. What the heck am I supposed to do here? Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Alright. Alright. Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. Oh. Mm. Hey, oh, oh. Sir. Yeah. Bye, it. You don't deserve life. Alright. That's gotta work. Bet. Nope. Alright. Yo, I thought I thought this was to uh we're supposed to go to the fair. Alright. Yo, Mrs. Puff, what's up? What's up, oh, Mrs. No. Puff? Oh, you, the okay. children. The children! You gotta save the children! We're just gonna violently break their legs as we launch them into the air. That way they can't escape or use balloons. Oh, uh, oh. Yeah, like I was saying, SpongeBob's just like violently breaking their legs and like like their femurs and stuff just so they can't. Oh, oh my gosh! And I missed. Dang it! It's all right. Yeah. Why are you still laughing? I killed you! I killed you! I killed you! I killed you straight up, boy! All right. Yeah, but still, so SpongeBob's just like breaking their legs permanently and giving them permanent disability and trauma, so that Mrs. Puff doesn't have to actually work. <laughs> also, why is Mrs. Puff worried about these? Kids. Like, are they her students? Like, I, feel like I think they sponge. are. I mean, anybody with the moral compass, but would would worry about these kids. But Mrs. Puff is like, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but she's, and and you can look this up in the fandom. It said in the trivia that she's has the largest criminal record of anybody in Bikini Bottom just because of the stuff she's done to try and get the SpongeBob. Like, like, I, you know what I mean? Like, like, just look it up. I'm telling you, she has the biggest criminal record out of anybody, even more than Plankton. Oh, that's, that's pretty, well, let's go this way, guys, let's go this way, oh, I, I hate that water, I hate it, with all my heart and soul, does this ink faster if it's Patrick, oh, 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 no, and Patrick is sucked into the violent voids of space, I'm just kidding, it's not, it's not space, I mean, it's, it's water, it's, it's like space. If you don't have anything that protects your like breathing abilities, then yeah, you you suffocate. So it's it's kind of like space, and it actually has aliens called sea creatures. See, I have a theory that everything in SpongeBob, like, and this is from an actual like fandom theory, by the way, that uh, it was like they had nuclear testing done near, near where Bikini Bottom was, and that radiation somehow spread to the bottom of the ocean. And mutated the animals and stuff so they could speak. I'm not. I don't. Maybe I just made that up, but I think that's actually a theory in Bikini Bottom, like in the SpongeBob fandom. It's just like, like it's actually what? Oh, oh my gosh. I, okay, I, we actually need to be SpongeBob for this. We need to be SpongeBob for that quest thing. Oh, there it is. All right, we are gonna do this once and for all. Alright, children, I'm gonna violently oh, break your femurs swim. and we will save you so you can be forever be in Mrs. Puff's custody. Or like captivity or whatever. I don't I don't know. What's your 
Oh my gosh. I right. all right. And break your legs. Now you're permanently disabled. And probably have physical and mental trauma. Wait. Look at these kids. They're all sitting down. We get them physical trauma. We get them physical trauma. They're all disabled. I, I actually kind of feel bad now. We get them we get them physical and mental trauma from this experience as an unholy sponge descended upon them to break their legs to forever put them under the captivity of one Mrs. Pop, the b biggest criminal in Bikini Bottom. Again, if you don't believe me, look that up for yourself. I am not kidding when I say that she actually has the uh -oh. largest I criminal record, even larger than Plankton. I am not kidding. Like I said earlier in this video, Mrs. Puff has the largest criminal record out of anyone in Bikini Bottom. If you want to fact check that, look it up on the fandom. I am not kidding, that is 100% true. Alright. Bubble Buddy, my boy! Can we talk? Alright. We got a normal... What, what's the point of this obstacle stuff? Like, I, I don't understand. Is, is the water... The wa uh... Um... So that's a, uh, that's a bit of a problem. All right, guys, we are back, and now we are going to survive this massive flood. Boom! Bounce on that guy as he violently dies, or violently vomits when we jump on his stomach. All right, and oh, oh no, oh no! Boom! That's what you get. That's what you get, boy. Boom! Oh, I am so good at this game. I'm just kidding. I'm probably like one of the worst players in this game. Yo, is it? Does the flood stop just because SpongeBob left? Is SpongeBob some sort of like curse? Like, is he? He's like the opposite of a good luck charm. He's a bad luck charm. All right. Uh, can I? I cannot go up that way. But we are getting close to the golden statue, guys. That is very good news. All right. So we are going to hit this guy, and uh, yeah, we blew him up. All right, what's this? What's this robot's name? What is this robot? You know what? We'll call you Artie. I'm just kidding. We're not calling you Artie. We'll call you. Uh, we'll call you Simon. We'll call you Simon. And that robot. Uh, what was his name? Artem. Art. I, I can't remember what his name. Uh, I'll look at the other video I made to uh, figure out what I actually named this kid. All right. Did we? Did we do it? Did we beat the? Yo, we beat the game! I'm just, wait, not not the game, I'm sorry, let's see. What did we do? Oh, we are nowhere near done, I just realized. I totally forgot about the... Oh, oh no, oh no! Oh, it's, a, it's a freaking cave. It is a freaking cave. I want the freaking fair. Is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask, people? Alright, uh... Whatever, we got it. We got this. Fresh, Yo, like we're gonna rain. cause some major Sometimes damage to this kid. Why push, is there a prayer push, where that push, push. Oh my gosh. That's I, I, like I said before in my other video, I love this game. I haven't even pl been playing it that long, and I freaking love this thing. It's so good. This has me so hyped for the next game. Like I can't wait for to, like to see what the. I can't remember the name of this company. I know what it is, but I'm not really sure how to like say it out loud. But I can't wait because like this company that made the same the same game is behind this like, like the next this new game they have. I am so excited for it, and I cannot wait to like buy it and record it for you guys. That is gonna be so much fun to like play a new game and just like record it for you guys because I really like recording for you. It's it's a lot of fun, and it's something I would do forever if I could but you know life is probably gonna stop me from doing that because life sucks like that all right let's see where are we supposed to go we're supposed to go here yeah oh all right we're good we're good we're good we're good we're good we're good yo we could actually beat the game now or this this level I don't know why I keep saying the game. I'm sorry like I said I'm not that intelligent of a person okay like, you might- Oh. Huh. Oh. Come on. Come- Come on, game. Uh, that- Really, game? You really just did that? You really just did that? Boom. Boom. Goodbye, Artem. 
I think what was his name? I I cannot remember the name I gave the hammer robot. Uh, we'll we'll call him. You know what? We'll give him a new name. Uh, you guys leave a comment or down below. Yeah, you guys leave a comment down below and tell me what name you want to give the hammer robot. Because I think I don't. I guess the reason I don't remember his last name, like the name I gave him, is because it. You know what? It obviously sucked. If I can't remember something, it sucks. Just like I can't remember every U.S. president. That means they all suck. They all sucked. All right, guys, we are at the fair, the moment I've been waiting for, and you've probably been suffering through. All right, we are going to go into the Phantom Bus. Nobody is in that bus, by the way. Sorry, lad. The carnival is closed. Nuts to that, I say. Boom! Again, again. All right, what are we supposed to do? Ooh. Um, is he just... There's no money in there. Mr. Krabs is a liar. He wants me to suffer. Alright, uh... Um, what the heck am I supposed to do here? Oh, wait. Oh! Cl clam sickles? That sounds like a vomit-inducing ride. Like, that, that just sounds vomit-inducing. Like, that sounds... Like, that sounds legitimately awful. Like, who thought that was a good idea? And plus, I mean, wh why are clams not sentient in the SpongeBob universe? Why is not every sea creature? Why is it just, a f like, a few select? You know what? I'm, I'm thinking too clear. Like, I'm thinking too much on SpongeBob. Like, you really can't think with shows like this. <laughs> you really, you really can't. Otherwise, you will have a dark rabbit hole, like the Cars universe. Because some dudes on that are pretty gosh dang disturbing. Die! So shiny. That robot, the last thing he sees is Patrick's unholy belly button as it descends upon him and consumes him. And Patrick is, or sorry, the robot is lost in its gaping maw. Who's moving these things down here? Is it just like there's? If they, if they say it's the tide, I call freaking bullcrap on that. Whoa. 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 Oh. All right. Uh, you know, I think, I think this might. Be Just good. my size. Oh, I missed! I missed! I missed! I Dang it! All right. So I think what? Uh, oh, that looks. That looks nice right there. That looks nice. Uh, and it costs two thousand points. You know what? For the sake of content, we need it. You do everything in the name of content. Everything! Regardless if it's morally ambiguous or dubious. Is that SpongeBob's butt? Oh, he's a thick boy. He's a thick boy! Oh, oh my gosh. Alright, what is this for? Oh. Oh my. It's gonna kill me! I'm so glad there's no fall damage in this game. Otherwise, I would be dead. Like, I would straight up be dead. Like, right now, I would probably have broken my legs. You stupid piece of crap. I, uh, if you guys want me to play any other games alongside my Spongebob and Red Dead Redemption 2 series, you guys let me know because I will gladly do it if I have... If I actually have it, like little nightmares or my or play through Minecraft, anything, I will I will do it for you guys because I have no life and will do anything, anything for my fans. SpongeBob is whisked away into the afterlife as we Patrick takes his place in the world and boom, we now take his name as the titular character of SpongeBob. Patrick just has to uh, become very porous. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine a series centered around Patrick. Wait. Is there, is there a series around? I think there's a series about Patrick, right? Like, like at, like, it's like about Patrick and his, his family, even though his family was fake, right? Now, one episode of SpongeBob, Patrick had his parents and they were, they were fake, but then his real parents showed up. I don't, I don't know. I, the, the state of SpongeBob has gotten so much worse than that worse and I guess that's just like why it's brought me back to games like this because it just reminds me of that old era of Spongebob that it just it just had that something you know what I'm talking about like it just had it had flair like it, it had 
something funny. Like, even if it wasn't just like, ra it had random quirky moments, yeah, but it had like, it was legitimately funny sometimes. So, like, the humor was like clever, it was, it could sometimes be something, like, heck, it could be for like adults or something that the kids won't notice. But the new one is just, like, the new seasons are just so, like, sporadic and, and random. It's just, and the animation is, like, so, it's so gosh dang ugly. It's just, like, I, I don't know anymore. Like, I, don't, I just watched, like, the first three or four seasons, or heck, even, like, up until, like, maybe season eight. Why did I throw that? Anyway, like, up until, like, season eight or something, and then I'm just, I'm just done, because, like, Anything pat past, the, at least like past the first couple of seasons, it's it is not good at all. Like I, like the new seasons of SpongeBob suck. They have good moments like that episode where they dedicated it to Hillenburg. Yeah, that that was that was nice. That was a really really nice thing of Nickelodeon to do. And it actually, it it was okay. Like it wasn't the best SpongeBob episode, but it was a, it was pretty good. It was a. It was a solid thing. It still had that weird animation style SpongeBob has now, but it was it was still pretty solid. I, I would give it like maybe like a seven or a or a six out of ten. It was like I said, it wasn't the best, but it was it was still a pretty solid episode. And the, and the dedication to Hillenburg was nice, but oh my gosh, they they have basically defiled Steven Hillenburg's grave at this point. Like they they basically took a dump on it <laughs> with everything they've been doing with SpongeBob, like. Like, oh, uh, like, they've been doing everything Hillenburg didn't want to do. They didn't, like, they, they made spin-off shows, like, among other things, and it's just, it was a, it's a huge mess. I just, I, I miss the old era of Spongebob. I just, I just want it to come back. Like, I know that's not possible, but I guess I can have a dream. Like, I just, I just wish it, it could come back. Like, it would be the way it was. Just, like, why? Why? All right, he's destroyed. Oh yes, 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 yes. All right, we did it, boys. I think we might have beaten this uh, level. All right, Larry, my boy. Congrats. Yes. Wait, how did I teleport here? This game, I love it as much as I love it so far. It, it's, it can be a bit weird. It can be a bit weird. All right. Uh. Let's see, did I complete the object? Okay, I missed one. It's probably not that important, but uh, what the heck. I'll, I'll come back to it in a future video. Probably, maybe. Okay, no. Alright, all right. Uh, I'll head back to Bikini Bottom. Or, you know, SpongeBob Neighborhood, and uh, we will decide what we do from there. What else can we do? Actually, uh, you know what? I might end the video here today, guys. Well, I think that's, you know, like I said, you know what I'm going to say. I think that's going to do it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Also, if you don't subscribe, the Zapper Robots will come and kill you in your sleep.